Hello, welcome to Physics Lesson 4.2, Round Trip Projectiles. Uh, first thing we're going to go through is what is a projectile? Well, technically, a projectile is anything that's in free fall. Um, but with this section, we're going to look at projectiles that have a velocity initial that's not zero. Uh, so, we're going to be looking at velocity that's positive because it needs to go up. So when you throw a ball, and there's only the force of gravity on it, this causes the ball to change its speed. It's going to slow down as it goes up until eventually it comes back down and starts to speed up. But it's accelerating the whole time. And it's accelerating because of gravity. And gravity is pulling it in the same direction no matter where it is in its path. And that is down. Gravity really sucks and likes to pull things down. All right. So um, with a round trip projectile, what we end up having is a delta y that's zero. So it starts at one position and ends at one position on the y axis. The x axis we'll talk about in the next unit and that'll be our delta x. But for right now we're just worried about delta y. So things going up and coming back down. So in other words that means that our initial and final position are the same. Alright, that's going to be very helpful because of three key features. One, the time up is the same as the time down. Or you could say that it's half of the total trip. So if our total trip looks like that, the time to get to this point is the same as the time from here to there. And half of our total trip. It's a really weird drawing, but oh well. Whatever. Um, second thing. The velocity at its height is zero. The velocity here is positive. And if this is zero and that's positive, this must be negative. Which brings us to our, another, our last key feature. The velocity initial is opposite velocity final. So if I launch something up at, I don't know, a positive 20 meters per second, it comes back down at a negative. 20 meters per second. So it's the same, but opposite. So it has the same value, just in opposite direction. All right, uh, let's give some uh, practice on this. So we have a person. They're going to kick a ball straight up with a velocity initial that is 20 meters per second. So uh, let's change color here. Velocity initial equals 20 meters per second. Acceleration of gravity is negative 10 meters per second. And what else do we have here? We want to know how high up the ball goes. So if we're looking for how high the ball goes, we're looking for this point right here. And if we go back to our key features, we know that the velocity at that point is zero. So velocity final equals zero meters per second. And we are looking for how high the ball goes. So we're looking for delta y. So 2 times negative 10 delta y equals 0 squared minus 20 squared. So we should end up with something that looks like this. Delta y equals negative 400 divided by negative 20. And if we do everything correctly, we should end up with 20 meters. So our height from here to there is 20 meters. Uh, the next part is how long does it take to get to this height? All right, so now we're solving for time. Now, we, now that we have delta y, we can use another equation if we want, or what I like to use is our purple equation, which looks like this. So the final, that's a G, not an S, minus VI over T. So we know that negative 10 equals 
0 minus, uh, I forgot what we started at, 20 divided by t. All right, so our time equals negative 20 divided by negative 10. So time equals 2 seconds. And it's positive, negative divided by negative. Yay, we did everything right. Um, how long does it take for the entire trip? Well, if we refer back here, the time up is the same as the time down, or half of the total trip. So we can just multiply that 2 by 2, and we get 4 seconds. What's the velocity of the ball directly before it hits the ground? Velocity initial is opposite. So it has to be the same value, only opposite direction. So negative 20 meters per second. All right, uh, that ends 4.2. Stay tuned for 4.3, uh, which will be coming up later. See you later, alligator.